Hello everyone, welcome to this session of mechanical vibration. In this class, we are going to understand that how to write the equation of motion of a pulley mass system when a damper is also presented in your system. Traditionally, we have problem where we have pulley mass connected with the spring and we write the equation of motion but generally we do not have a damper in the system but in the current problem we are having a damper connected with this larger pulley and we have to write the equation of motion of this system. So this is a very special problem and we can solve this problem either by using the energy method or the DLM bird principle. For this class I am going to apply both the principle for your clarity. So let's start the problem. Hello viewer, this is Ashish Purohit. I hope you are liking my content on my YouTube channel. I want to inform you that we can now interact on an academy platform. Thank you. As I said that when we write the energy approach, in case of energy principle, we are going to follow the conservation of law of energy. That means we write the total energy expression and consider that the total energy is constant. So if I will differentiate the total energy expression with respect to time, it will give me the equation of motion of the system because it will be zero. But this principle is basically derived with the help of the law of conservation of energy. And when we are not having a damper in our system, the energy is actually conserved because the mass is having the kinetic energy and the spring is having the potential energy and both energy exchange but it conserved in your system. Whenever we are having the damping, the damping is basically dissipating the energy. So that part has to be incorporated in your principle of energy and how we do that. We, uh, there is a specific method but I will show you the part so that you will be able to solve the problem. In addition to that, we will also apply the D. Lambert principle. In case of D. Lambert principle, what we do actually, first we make the free body diagram of individual mass element and then we apply the method by considering the inertia force or I would say that by cons converting a dynamic system into an equivalent static system. So sequentially we will see both the approaches. First I will start with the D. Lambert principle and for the D. Lambert principle what we need to do we have to make the free body diagram of our two mass element that this is your mass and this pulley is also having a moment of inertia and suppose I am assuming that my system is vibrating and for a given instant of time the mass is going in the downward direction actually it is going away from the mean position let assume that this is the mean position so the mass is going in the downward direction with an amount of x so I can understand that the spring is also having a change in length of x Similarly, there is a rotation in the pulley which will be in the counterclockwise direction and assume that the pulley is rotating by amount theta. Similarly, in the damper, uh, we can consider that the change in length or the velocity in the damper will be y dot. It will not be directly x dot. We have to establish the relation between the x, theta and the y. But please understand, all the three coordinates are actually considered as the generalized coordinate. And what, what is the generalized coordinate? The generalized coordinate can be considered as the system can be expressed in terms of theta or x or y. So we have choice and all the three coordinates are actually dependent. They are not independent. If I know the x, I can simply write r theta is equal to x. That means there is a relation or these coordinates are dependent coordinate. As I said, we have to make the free body diagram and we are having two inertial element. One is our mass and we have assumed that mass is going in the downward direction. So the, let's consider this is x. Hi, this is Ashish Puruit and I want to let you know that I am also available on an academy platform. If you are liking my content on YouTube, whatever I am delivering on an academy is definitely going to help you. There are free sessions as well as some classes on Unacademy plus platform. Currently I am running a course of mechanical vibration especially for the gate aspirant. I am going to cover entire syllabus of the gate and classes are already started. All details are given in the description. So I hope that the content I am delivering on Unacademy will help you in your preparation. See you there. Thank you.
as mass is going in the downward direction there is a string so the tension t will act in the upward direction at the same time as the spring is also compressing the spring force which will be kx is also acting in the upward direction and this is the first free body diagram similarly this t is also acting here but in the downward direction and there is a force because of the damper and let's define it as fd we can also write it at c y dot if i will see the entire system i will be able to establish the relation between the x y and theta because all are connected and you can see here that after looking the first pulley which is also rotating with amount theta let's that theta can be related with x and x can the x will be what r theta the y is actually connected with the larger pulley so it will be just a double of this value so i can write that wall y will be what 2r theta or i can say it will be equal to 2x so we can now see that all the three coordinates are actually dependent and we have to write the entire expression using any of these coordinate i am going to select the x coordinate for my entire equation after making the free body diagram here we know that it is rotating in this direction we have to apply the d lambert principle that you have to write the total forces and then you have to write mx double dot is equal to 0 or in case of moment it will be m minus i theta double dot is equal to 0 but we have to follow a specific sign convention what i do i am going to explain you the my philosophy which is very valid when we are having a vibratory system the first thing what i consider i consider that the system is moving away from the mean position as the system is moving away from the mean position i know that it is in retarding phase so the acceleration is actually acting opposite to the direction of the motion and the inertia force is again opposed uh, within the acceleration so without going in the detail of the acceleration in the inertial force what what i simply do first i consider that the system is moving away from the mean position and i consider the direction of the motion as my first direction and i simply write mx double dot that is on the left hand side and i put the other forces on the right hand side but what is my sign convention if the direction of the force is in the direction of the motion that will be positive that means force positive or vice versa but in my case all the both the forces t and kx are acting in the up, upward direction that is opposite to the direction of the x so i am simply putting kx minus t please remember i am not giving a generalized statement for the d lambert principle but what i follow is very useful to writing the equation of motion of a vibratory system so i will suggest that you can follow this style ultimately you are going to equalize the same and then finally you will get the same expression but for simplicity i am giving you this statement that you can follow the direction of the motion and then you can write the expression similarly when i write the expression for the second i know that the rotation is in the counterclockwise direction so all the movement which are in the counterclockwise direction will be positive and the motion uh, movement about uh, clockwise will be negative but all the movement are also going to be written right hand side so i am going to write i theta double dot left hand side and then i will write the moment so there will be movement because of the tension t as well as the cy dot force so for the t i can write t into r because the perpendicular distance is r here so it will be t into r and what is the sense of this moment the moment is also in the counterclockwise direction so it will i am going to put a positive sign but the momentum big moment because of the c y dot is in clockwise sense so it will be with a negative sign and i will write c y dot into 2 r or i can replace this y with the x as well as the theta with the x but first what i will do i will first write the expression for the t here so it will be what i by r and i can replace the theta i know that the theta is x by r so theta double dot will also be x by r so it will nothing but the r square x double dot plus c into 2x dot 2r so finally i can put this t value in my first expression and i will get the expression for my system that is used uh, that will actually give me the ex uh, equation of motion so here i can write m x double dot plus k x plus t is equal to 0 and i will put this t value here so my expression will be what mx double dot plus kx 
प्लस आई बाय आर स्क्वायर एक्स डबल डॉट प्लस फोर सी दिस आर विल आल्सो बी हियर सो आर एंड आर विल कैंसल आउट सो फोर सी एक्स डॉट इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई विल रीअरेंज एंड आई विल पुट ऑल द एक्सेलरेशन एट वन साइड एम प्लस आई बाय आर स्क्वायर एक्स डबल डॉट प्लस सी फोर सी एक्स डॉट प्लस के एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो दिस इज योर एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द गवर्निंग इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस सिस्टम वेयर वी आर हैविंग अ डैम्पिंग एंड यू कैन सी हियर दैट द फर्स्ट इंटायर टर्म इज एक्चुअली इंडिकेटिंग दैट दिस इज द एम इक्वलेंट ऑफ योर सिस्टम फोर सी इज एक्चुअली इंडिकेटिंग द सी इक्वलेंट ऑफ योर सिस्टम एंड के इज इंडिकेटिंग द के इक्वलेंट so this is the first half your problem that here we have used the d lambert principle to write the equation of motion now we will move towards the energy principle and again we will derive the entire expression